When you find something that you know you really love to do, it gives you energy, it gives you life. And I guess powerlifting is that that jump start or that, or that boost I needed, you know, after football. When you take, take certain aspects of life for granted, like I took football for granted because I thought it would always be there. Even though I had older people in my life telling me, look, if you don't work hard at this, it's gonna come to an end one day, and it did. And I just never thought that would happen to me because I was always, I was good at football. But I guess coming from where I came from, good wasn't enough. You needed to be great, you needed to be the best. And I didn't put the work in to do that. So once I got my opportunity in powerlifting to be great, I totally took advantage of it. I worked my tail off. I did whatever I needed to do to be great at the sport of powerlifting. And, you know, don't take it for granted because, um, you know, if you just look at what's going on in the world, just prime example, people dying left and right, you got to think about it. Look at it from some, look at, look at it from that aspect. If those people could get another chance to do it all over again, knowing what happened, they will live every day to the fullest and they wouldn't take advantage of any opportunity that came their way. And that's how I look at powerlifting. Like, this sport can be taken away from you at any moment, during training, during a competition, in, at any moment. So while I have the chance to be great, I am going to exhaust every, every resource I have to be great. If you try to, if you come to the gym and your, and your mental is not right, then you're not gonna find it. Like you don't walk into the gym, you're just this bubbly person, then when the big weight comes on, you, you tap into this dark side. You know, it's, it's not sorcery, but when you walk into the gym, that mentality is with you, it's in your gym bag. Like you put it on, it, it's there, it's like a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? It comes to the gym with you. You know, if your mind ain't right, you might as well take the day off, do some accessory work, come back another, another day. Because mind is off, everything else is gonna be off. Like to do what we do, like thousands of pounds, uh, big weight like this in the gym by yourself, something has to be wrong, something has to be off. There must be a side of you that is just pure rage. And when you step in the gym, you turn it on, you go. I was looking, I was like, I'm pretty damn sure. I'm like, this white plate, this ain't 1.25. So. So nothing to be mad about. Hell no. That's 39. I'm gonna get this big 4 0.
into the crowd. Oh, this, they are you, loving it. This is my fourth world championships. You never get used to it. You never get used to it. 440. I think I'll always have these same feelings I got right now. Whoa. 970 pound on the dot. This is the strongest power lifter we've ever seen in our sport. Oh, he's really making sure he locks those knees. Very, very good. Oh, you can see he just, he just missed time. He just missed time right there. See if we see the replay. He has to. That's what champions do. All I'm thinking about is bombing out in Sweden. Like how that felt. Like the embarrassment, the humiliation, the wasted resources. You know, coming back to my family. And, you know, you just feel like, damn, what'd I just do? You know? And my deal is that I'm never gonna let that happen again. You know, I just can't, just can't, gotta push. Last set. <laughs>